All right, real important video I need to make here, right? Uh, been questioned a lot going into work. You know, you might not show up 100% on time, right? My cube mate saying, hey, I don't, what's the math on this? How are you getting here? How, how does this work out, right? How do you figure when you get here, when you, when you don't get here? And so I thought about it, right? And there's an unwritten formula that governs this kind of decision making and these decisions. Uh, unwritten until today, because what we're going to do is we're going to put to whiteboard, right, uh, the formula for calculating uh, what time you're supposed to be at work. Now, let me go ahead and throw in a disclaimer. This is not a plan that you would present to management as an excuse for anything. This is more something done in arrears uh, to explain your arrival time. And so uh, it's very scientific, very technical. Uh, so. I had to give you a beer, calm down a little bit, because I'm real passionate about this kind of shit, right? And we're going to get into it. And what this is going to do is allow you to understand the thought process, because people that, that already use this formula, they are in the know on this. But what I'm doing is letting everybody know that's not in the know, so you know what to expect moving forward, and you know how all this works. So I'm uh, delivering a public service, so if you want to thank me, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, if not, uh, fuck you. So let's make it happen. Step one. First thing that I do is we got to lay out the rules, right? Um, this is an equation, a mathematic formula. It's very scientific, very technical. So first thing you want to do is you want to put the variables on the board, right? All right, variable number one. You know what? Let me put. I'm gonna have to put this beer down because I got some respect for y'all, and I got to do this with some respect. Stella, it's a good beer. It's not a sponsor. This is a pro tip. Now this is included, no charge, no extra charge. Got to do is have YouTube. I don't get sponsored by Stella because nobody watches my shit and I'm a nobody on YouTube. And that might be hard for some people to understand, but essentially I'm a nobody. So this is not a sponsorship. I just enjoy the beer. So thumbs up to Stella, but out of the picture for now. We'll come back to it. Anyway, step one, lay out the variables. All right, first thing you gotta do, FG, very important. Now, in this formula, you might say, Levi, what's FG? And I'm gonna tell you, FG, First thing you want to do, and what FG equals in this formula is fucks given. Very, very scientific. Fucks given, right? First part of the equation. This is going to be your independent variable in a sense, right? This is what changes and dictates the time you arrive. So moving on, you've got TI. Now TI is what we're solving for. That's time in. So you've got time in T-O. Now T-O in this equation, and it might not be true for all equations, T-O stands for time out, right? Now, time out, that's a constant. That doesn't change. I'm leaving at 4.30 every day. That's for this equation here. So that, I'm gonna go ahead and just put in parentheses here, that's a constant, just to remind everybody, so there's no confusion. That's a constant. That doesn't change. All right, so we got your bucks given, you got your timeout, you got your TO. The last one, very important, is gonna be your TS, right? Now TS, right, that's gonna be your time schedule. That's a very important component here. You gotta have your time schedule. All right, now, stay. All right, let me get another drink. Go, go juice here. All right, now this one, I'm gonna put it up here, but it's not gonna be in the equation. I'm gonna explain to you in a minute here. Kind of related to your TO, it's a constant. We got your L of B. Now LB, that's lunch break. Lunch break, very important for the day, but again, lunch break, not in the equation because it doesn't dictate what time you come in or leave. It doesn't matter how long your lunch break is. Very important, that's a pro tip right there. Now we're ready to write down the equation and tell everybody what it is, right? So here we go. We have a little uh, scientific line of squiggle here, just so we can kind of separate what we got. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay out the equation for you. All right, so you got, you're trying to solve for your TI, right? So TI equals, you with me? TS, remember time schedule, minus one, 
TS minus one, close that parenthesis. And then what we're gonna do, cheat sheet says, plus, now this is gonna where it gets a little crazy. You got your TO, right? Minus 2.25 divided by F of G. And there you go. This is good. This is the golden formula. This is what dictates everything. Now, you might be asking, what is 2.25? That's a great question. 2.25 is a value that has been decided on by a committee of scholars that have studied this issue, looked at this formula, determined what is going to be the best thing for us to have this formula that's able to uh, explain the time of arrival in a very scientific fashion. 2.2, and by committee, I mean me. So I am the committee, I am the chairman of the committee, I am the whole situation going on, right? I've decided all of this. So you got your 2.25, you got all this, right? So this is your formula. Now, very important, what you have to keep in mind with this is, in this situation, F of G, which is fucks given, right? Fucks given, it is greater than or equal to one, right? Now, think about the formula from a scientific perspective, from a mathematic perspective, right? Again, I'm an accounting major. If you can't have zero fucks given, because if you give no fucks, you don't even bother having employment. So you can't divide by zero, it's undefined. Undefined means unemployed. Very important, don't forget that. Undefined equals unemployed. I know you probably can't see that, but trust me, it's there. So, this is how it works, right? This is all the, the bells and whistles. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and calculate it out for you using my values and show you how it's done so you guys can do this at home. This is very important, right? Go ahead and pay close attention. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and move this camera up so y'all can see a little bit better. I really want you to understand what's happening, right? I really want you to understand, you good? Oh, that's a great shot right there. Actually, let me move it back just a little bit. Just focus, but just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a damn good shot. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's good right there. All right, so I'm going to plug my values in so you can kind of see how this formula works, right? Watch it in action. It's a magical thing. Here we go. T-I, is what we're solving for, right? T-I, right? All right, pardon that. T-I equals, now my time schedule is gonna be eight, right? So time scheduled is eight minus one, right? First part of the equation, done. Moving on, you got plus, right? T-O, which is 430, 4.5 for mathematical purposes. 4.5, right, minus 2.25 divided by F of G. Now, for the sake of this, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you kind of how it works. Um, I've already calculated this beforehand, so I kind of know what to expect with it, but for F of G, F of G has to equal 2.25 to get there on time. So you have to give 2.25 fucks in this example, to get to work on time, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just plug in. I'm gonna get low for you so you can see. I'm gonna get real low. You can't see my legs, but I'm getting low right. 2.25, right? So we're gonna go ahead and move this down just like you used to do in arithmetic. So we're gonna go ahead and move this down. Here you've got seven, right? Plus 2.25 over 2.25, right? So we got seven plus one, eight. So TI, that's a bad eight. You know what, I'm gonna have a little bit more respect for all 10 of y'all that are gonna watch this video. Eight, God bless it. Assuming you give 2.25 bucks, you're there at eight o'clock, you're there on time. Manager's happy, everyone's happy. It's good stuff. Now. This is not a very big whiteboard, so I'm going to erase this example, and I'm going to show you what can happen if that fuck starts to drop. And we're going to get real, real in the weeds on this one, but stay with me. All right, same example, 
if a fuck you. We got song for TI still, right? All right, equals eight minus one. That's not a one. I'm an asshole. Eight minus one plus 4.5, don't forget, minus 2.25. Very important you remember to convert that to decimals. And for all you people that don't know what that means, right? 430, that's half of it, halfway between five, so you want to put that 0.5. Very important. Okay, let's say on this day I get up wrong side of the bed, you know, McDonald's had a big line, Duncan couldn't get my coffee. I'm giving one fuck on that day. That's just law of nature. You got one fuck to give about getting to work on time. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in and see how it works out. You got one fuck to give, right? So we're gonna go down here just like we did. We've got seven plus 2.25 over one, right? Because we're only giving one fuck. And you can't give less than one fuck. You don't wanna know what happens then. You start getting into that unemployed area. And we're trying to stay out of that, right? So here we're gonna have seven plus 2.25. This equals 9.25 or, I don't even need to calculate for that. That's 915. So you can see the effect that just not giving a little bit less of a fuck can do to your time getting to work. This is really important for all you guys that are having a hard time and you're trying to figure out what's going on. This is the gold standard right here, right? This is the way you say, hey, look, you have to understand I'm just applying the formula and that's how I got to this. Again, lunch break, that's a constant. That doesn't change. Time in, that's what we're looking for. Time out, that doesn't change no matter what happens, right? Stay with me. FG fucks given, that's really the biggest thing here. You give less fucks, you get there later. You give more fucks, you get there on time. You can give so many fucks now, I'm about to get crazy on you right here. This is gonna be another example. I'm gonna erase this one, we're gonna give you one more, just to show you how this can work both ways. When we put this together, we took into account all kinds of people, right? So I'm gonna show you what can happen. Let's say you give more than 2.25 fucks. Stay with me. All right, we've got T I equals seven plus one. I fucked that up. I think I fucked it up last time too. It's T S minus one. Stay with me. All right, T I equals eight minus one plus 4.5 minus 2.25. Let's say we get up, we're having a great fucking day, right? Got our coffee, got some breakfast, go outside, birds chirping. It's like a cool, crisp 70, right? No traffic on the road. Got some, some new uh, Drake plan or some Taylor Swift or whatever the fuck you like to listen to. You're having a great day. You want to get to work and do a good job. You're giving about three fucks. You're giving three fucks on that day, right? That's a good amount of fucks to give. You got some fucks to give there. Now we're gonna go ahead and move down. I'm gonna show you, pay attention. This is really cool how this works. Is it, it's not a one-way street. We took everything into account making this. I'm gonna show you how it works out. Go ahead and move down, right? You got your TI equals seven plus 2.25 divided by three. Now, as smart as I am, I am gonna have to bust out the calculator on this just for the sake of exped expedition. Cause I got some respect for people that wanna watch this video, the few that there are, and I don't wanna be dragging you along with my calculations just to prove a point. 0.75, that's a good quality Apple calculator right there. 0.75, so we've got seven plus 0.75, right? Now, that's gonna give you a TI time in of 7.75 or 745. Well, if I can write. Bear with me here, people. Again, accounting major. 7.45. That's a five right there. It's not a J, it's a five. Very important. So you can see how you can give more fucks and get there early, or you can give less fucks and get there late. Either way, this is how you explain it. Thanks for checking out the video. 
I might be doing some more shit, so if you want to subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you don't, fuck you. See ya.